What's up, YouTube fam? It's your boy Scook Nasty, back with another video. Now, real quick, I wanted to let y'all know I did react to everything on the album except Provis. And the last four songs, I believe, didn't record audio. Because my, my microphone screwed up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to react to Pravis, or Pravis, I don't know how to pronounce it. We're going to react to that, and then I'm going to give a full rating on the album, and then my favorite tracks, my least favorite, etc., etc. So, without further ado, Pravis, Pravis, and y'all told me to react to the live in Tokyo version of this song. So that's what we're gonna do. Pravis? Pravis? I don't fucking know. I'm new to the band, guys. Give me credit. So here we go. Yeah. 
What a damn album. Holy shit. That album just blew me away. Okay. Hands down, one of the best albums I've listened to. Now, getting into the tracks that weren't posted to YouTube, because this is going to be the last one posted as of right now from this album, because I've already listened to Dancers to a Discord System. One of my top favorite tracks. Hold up. Okay. Lethargica. Phenomenal track. Um, let me see. Yes, this track had that little soft, um, middle part of the track was like a soft little soap guitar solo, just like a little pick and pick and sweep kind of deal, just chilled out the fucking song. I love that part. The transitions between the two, the heavy part to the soft and back into the heavy was beautiful. It was amazing. Lethargica was great. Then we had, was it Obzen next? Yes, Obzen, title track. One of the best title tracks I've ever heard. Um, it, they chose the right track to make it the title track as far as the rest of the album goes um, Obzen was great The Spiteful Snake probably in my opinion the weakest song on the album I didn't dig it that much until it got to that solo and then all the way to the end as far as the first half of that song I could not get into it and then that solo hit, and it blew my mind. And then it had me hooked for the rest of that track. So that was The Spiteful Snake. And then we had Pineal Gland Optics. Another great track. Let me hold up. Let me pull up a little, a little snippet of that. Introducing Fruitly. Yeah, 
yes. This was one I loved his vocals on this one. The, the vo I mean, obviously the vocals and the drums are the two main parts of this band that makes them just mind-blowing. But as far as favorite tracks goes, I can't pick. Least favorite, this spiteful snake or whatever it was. Yeah. It, again, not a bad track. Just the first half did not direct, pull me in. The second half from that solo onward hooked me in. Now, because of that, because of that one track, we're going to be giving this album an 8.5 out of 10. And I feel like that's pretty fair. I mean, if, let's bump it up to a 9. We're going to give them a 9. We're giving it a 9. Because, I mean, that one track, it was just half a track that really didn't bring me in. So we're giving it a 9 out of 10. That's super fair for Meshuggah. These dudes are phenomenal. They have earned themselves a new fan. And I will continue to be a fan. And, yeah. So that was Meshuggah Obzen, track by track. I'm so sorry that I could not get the last three or four tracks uploaded. I'm going to work on getting this microphone fixed. Hopefully it's fixed now. And hopefully it worked for this video. If it didn't, I'm giving up on this album. <laughs> I'm kidding. No. That's going to be an album that I blast for a while and then start listening to their other stuff and hopefully they have a new album coming soon because I could go for some new Meshuggah see what they've been up to well that is that and I will see y'all in the next video peace